Hey guys, how's it going? Here is the video review for Transformers Generations G Haxis, G Haxis, however the heck you pronounce it. Anyway, here he is in his uh, packaged in robot mode with the obligatory comic that they're all coming with here recently. And that's the front of his packaging. And here we go the rear of his packaging and he has all of the normal packaging stuff product shots bio tech specs hooray anyway that is pretty much it for the packaging I'll be back in a flash with them out of the package and we'll talk about them more okay guys here we have Jai Haxis, G Haxis, whatever out of the box and into his vehicular mode and uh, as you can see, he is a remold of the uh, Generations Armada Starscream. So let me just go ahead and uh, get Starscream next to him real quick for a nice comparison. And as you can see, he's a pretty extensive remold. Uh, the wings are different. The cockpit area is different. Uh, the well, no, the legs are just recolor. Obviously, the head sculpt is different. So there's enough new parts on this guy to make him interesting compared to Armada Starscream. So let's just go ahead and get Armada Starscream out of the way here real quick, and we'll focus in just on uh, Jai Haxis himself, or G Haxis, whatever. And, uh, you know, I think overall this jet mode looks absolutely uh, great. Really, I really dig it. Um, the color is real nice. Um, you know, it has all the same features as uh, the Armada Starscream, obviously, since it's the same uh, mold. If you so choose, you can very easily mount Minicons right on them, just like on uh, Starscream. There you go. And, of course, his missiles fire exactly the same way as Starscream's. Okay. There you go. They're push uh, push missiles, so they can be a little. Now well, one doesn't want to shoot, but you get the general idea. I got the other one to shoot. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and just show off the detailing on this guy. I think it is really nice, and uh, yeah, really cool. Really like this figure uh, in his vehicular mode. Don't have a whole lot else to say about it, so be back in his flash and we'll go over his robot mode. Okay guys, here I have G Ax Us in his uh, wonderful uh, robot mode. I'll go ahead and slide Armada Starscream next to him real quick for a size comparison and uh, they look pretty darn cool together in my opinion. And as you can see there's a fair amount of differences between the two molds. Enough to make this guy feel pretty fresh uh, compared to Armada Starscream. And of course same with Armada Starscream you've got uh, the same option as far as his missile uh, missile on his back is uh, concerned. You can either have it up, or if you prefer, you can flip the missile pod down. Either way works just fine. I'll give you a quick 360 of the figure. And I think he looks pretty darn awesome from all angles. Really nice looking figure. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in so you can see some of the detail here. And I'll tell you one thing, he has got, as you can see, one crazy looking head sculpt. That looks like a vampire transformer to me. <laughs> good, good, good stuff. You know, that is, you don't see that every day. I actually really like the way that looks, just because it's so unusual uh, for a transformer. Really cool, actually. And uh, I'd say overall, the uh, detailing uh, from the... Uh, vehicle mode carries over very well to the robot mode. As far as his articulation goes, it's identical to that of uh, Starscream, obviously. We got some foot pivot going on. We got a knee bend. We got a swivel there at, right below the hip, and the hips are on ball joints, so all directions for the legs. No waist rotation. He's got shoulder rotation. Shoulders can go out. Elbow bend, of course. Bicep swivel. Uh, wrist can go in some. His head is technically on a ball joint. I mean, it can look up and down, but the rotation is very tight on mine. I don't know if that's on all of them, but on mine, really tight and difficult to rotate. Um, 
you know, but obviously he's poseable, just like most any modern Transformer that you're going to find. Um, now, like I said, just overall, this guy is one seriously cool figure. Um, I would highly recommend picking him up. Uh, you know, got no reservations recommending him, even though he's just, you know, a remold of Starscream. He's still different enough to warrant a purchase. Anyway, uh, as always, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please rate, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time.